everybody, it's Darren Moore again. For, you know, I'm often asked, is it possible to customize the Bluebeam interface? And of course, the answer is yes, you just have to Bluebeam it. Now, the default profile in Bluebeam Review is actually called Review. If I open up the Review tab, hover over Profiles, you'll see a check mark next to Review. This profile is intentionally kept simple to make the software easy to work with. But sometimes folks want to add toolbars. Now, if I go to the Tools tab, and hover over toolbars, you'll see there's actually only four toolbars that are enabled by default. The navigation bar is at the very bottom of your interface that will show you your page number window and uh, little buttons for advancing or backtracking through a multi-page PDF. The properties toolbar is at the top of the interface and that will show you the uh, name of the current PDF and how many pages it has up until such time as you start to place a markup. When you start to place markups, then the properties toolbar will show you the properties of the current markup. Now going back to the Tools tab, Toolbars menu, um, the Shapes toolbar is where you see on the right hand side, Line, Arrow, Arc, and Polyline. And the Text toolbar is at the top where you see uh, Text Box, Highlight, and Pen. Now there's a number of tools, uh, toolbars that can be added that are already well formatted. Uh, my, one of my favorites is File. I'll left click File. And what the File toolbar gives me is the ability to open from the toolbar as opposed to going to the File tab. I can go ahead and click Open, browse to a folder of my choice, and open up my document. Also, when I make some changes to a PDF, you'll see the Save button will be active and so forth. If I go back to the Tools tab, I'll go back to Toolbars and click Edit. And the Edit toolbar will give me one of my favorite commands, Undo, because I'm quite likely to make a mistake, uh, Redo, Cut, Copy, and Paste, and so forth. So you can even customize your toolbars. If I go ahead and click on Tools, toolbars and go all the way to the bottom I can click customize and here you'll see categories for toolbars like file all alignment appearance and so forth and when you change the category you'll see a change in the commands right below the commands window then you can also see the toolbars that currently exist and the ones that have check marks are the ones that are active now if I left click on file you can see these are commands that could be on the file uh, toolbar, new PDF, create PDF. I like combine. I'm going to go ahead and put a check mark in combine. Um, but I don't really use email templates. I'll uncheck that. And here I am sort of customizing this toolbar. And if you ever wanted to, you could create your own toolbar with this little add button here on the right side of the dialog box. And in doing so, you would give that toolbar a name. Like if I do this, I'll go ahead and click add. And I'll use my company's acronym or my company name, CAD, and I'll click OK. There we go. And now you can see there's no tools on this toolbar. So what I would do is I would move tools from the commands window. If I, you know, and choose your commands, whatever, whatever command category you want to work with. Let's say I go with alignment. There is a whole toolbar for alignment. But let's say I just want to add some alignment tools. I can so click on Align Center push that to the right, the little arrow button there. I'll go align, uh, let's go middle, do I see that there? But the align middle right there. And then I'll click the little add button. And then uh, I can add a separator if I wanna add you know, more tools of a different sort. I'll go ahead and click, let's say measure. And I'll look for count and push that right arrow and so forth. So very easy to add your own toolbars or add existing toolbars to uh, sort of increase the functionality for Bluebeam Review to sort of work the way you want to. I'll go ahead and hit OK. And you'll see there's my new toolbar right there. There's the count command, my align commands, and so forth. So that's all we have to do. Just Bluebeam it by going to the Tools tab and either enabling existing toolbars or go down to the Customize option and create your own toolbar. I'm Darren Moore. Thanks for watching.